Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. It's actually afternoon. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Two minutes after 12, where I'm at. Oh, it's two minutes after one. <laughs> where yeah, I'm two at. minutes after 12 here, too. So. Yeah, you guys are central. I'm eastern. So, Where's anyway. It's been a really, really rough road these last few weeks and more so this week. But I'm really glad it's all over and I can get back to my life. Regardless, we want, we lost. But that the fight's not over. So uh, the uh, Cup W, which is the Canadian Union of Postal Workers, um, sent us out all a bulletin this morning telling us to please return to work today under the legislation but the fight is not over and they're going to be doing some things that um, the Senate had um, we believe that they had uh, violated our chartered rights to strike they uh, violated our freedom of association and this doesn't just affect any union this this union this affects all the unions in the entire world one thing i want to say is whoever you are that lives in japan i want to say thank you because these people are going to stand up and rally for the canadian postal workers that were legislated back to work um we also have allies in other countries that are going to come forward and rally in their country that are union people to represent the postal workers for the going on 10 years mm -hmm. we have been legislated back to work and have never been given a fair deal we end up with binding arbitrator contracts that really hurt the employees they never help the employee they're always for the employer so um, back in 2015, our union took our legislation to court because we were legislated back in 2011 and we were uh, given a binding arbitrator as well. So back from 2011, we have not seen any change in our contract, any change in our workplace and any change in our pay. Now, the cost of living since 2008 has gone up quite a bit. And I have to say that the fluctuating gas prices, that's a killer. And, and everything else, like cost of living goes up. And none of us ever get any kind of a raise in the last 10 years. I have not ever seen a raise. So um, these rallies that they're going to do on December the 1st, there's a whole slew of them going throughout the country. But anyway, our union took the legislation to court in 2015 and won the court battle in 2015 that, yes, our rights, our constitutional rights were violated. It's against the law that the government had legislated us back to work and blah, blah, blah. Now, when the Ministry of Labor um, tabled the legislation in the House of Commons, she said she rewrote the legislation so it did not violate our rights unfortunately according to 25 senators she violated our rights and because the law has been rewritten um she tried to get around it and you know what i mean she rewrote it thinking that she's going to outsmart the supreme court of canada and 25 senators out of 105 uh, disagreed. Some of them disagreed with it that also voted for the legislation, but they were still against at the timing of the legislation and at the quickness of this legislation, but they still had to pass it. So my union is very hopeful and I really hope they file an injunction because the injunction will stop the legislation because the legislation will bind us to a contract for four years and we're again without health and safety we're again without a raise we're again without anything without pay equity or without equal pay for equal hours of work work so 
um, <clears throat> I really appreciate whoever's listening that are in other countries that belong to unions. Um, like I, like they said, this does not affect just our nation. It affects the unions throughout the world. So, um, but I'm really appreciative of what the uh, union's doing in Japan. So that is just flipping awesome that we have the support from other countries. So anyway, <clears throat> other than that, it's been a very uh, hard time because we were all very, uh, 50,000 postal workers, I can tell you in Canada, we were all optimistic that the uh, corporation would finally come and bargain in good faith with us. And they knew that if they stalled at the bargaining table, they knew that there was going to be a legislating uh, we would get legislated back because the government will always back the corporation up. So <clears throat> they waited, they stalled, and they won. They they succeeded in the stalling. And this is what the senators had said, that they, this is their game. This is their tactic. They like to stall uh, and not come and um, bargain at the, the bargaining table with the postal workers. They know that legislation will be introduced. Does they just sit and wait for it? So one, one of the Senates is a lawyer from a Supreme Court. He is the one that absolutely did not like this legislation. He, he tore it up and down. He said, there's an oak test that you have to do now. And everybody that voted for this legislation figures the oak test pass, but he pretty much thinks that this oak test is what's going to fail this in a court in the Supreme Court of Canada. So I'm just going to sit back and wait and hope and pray that <clears throat> uh, we win this junction in court again, if that's what our president plans on doing. And I'm pretty sure he's not just going to sit on his butt and take this lightly. And <clears throat> being that we are the highest above pipeliners, uh, people that drive on roads, you know, they're apt to an accident more than we are. We are the highest in the federal sector of injuries because of slip and falls and because of our workloads. Now, it's so much different from the United States Postal Service. Our Postal Service has <clears throat> like doubled the work for one person and the routes made longer. So they're walking uh, 20 to 25 kilometers a day with double satchels, double bundles, flyers, and all the parcel volumes, which is what's killing them. And not only that, they're working till late at night. And then these, uh, the post office gives us these little headlamps. They're like a miner's lamp that you put on your forehead. You can't see nothing with that. This is why there slips and falls and people are smashing their head open, bleeding from the ears. Like these are kinds of incidents that are, some of them are disabling. Some people break their legs uh, because they fall or they fall down people's stairs. It's dark. It's hard to see. And that's what the union president tried to um, make, make the uh, Senate understand that our accidents are mainly in the evening. So I'm glad I don't work at night and I absolutely refuse to work at night. They can bully they can intimidate me all they want i will not put a headlamp on my head and go outside and deliver mail in 40 below weather that's windy snowy blowy you can forget that that will never happen so if i ever get fired it'll be because i refuse to do unsafe work they can't fire you for that anyway for uh, work refusal so anyway that's what my life has been like for the past week. It is ridiculous, Terry, but there's nothing I can do. I'm an individual. I wrote to the Senate, but I don't even know if they read my email. <laughs> right? They're politicians. They don't read people's emails. They don't need you. Know how many postal workers? You know how many postal workers wrote to uh, all the Senate, to true to our Prime Minister, to the Ministry of Labor. <laughs> Thousands of us did. Bet you they didn't read anything. So anyway, I'm going to craft a little bit. My bird is going ballistic, and I do not know why. Little monster. Anyway, I'm going to finish this page, finish decorating my book, and call it done. Because it is now November the 27th. I have three more days 
and I need to get that bag sewing and the gifts together and get ready for the giveaway. Now, what I want to tell you about the giveaway for the house challenge, your pictures have got to be in that album because I am not going to scroll through the Facebook page and try to find your pictures. They have to be in that album. That is where I'll be. Like I got some more. I know I got some from Terry that I have to submit. And I will do that. Um, I just haven't had time, Terry. But I will get those pictures in there. Don't worry. And um, your pictures for your finished album or whatever pictures you took during the making of your album have got to be in that album. Um, or... Uh, um, your, your name's not going to get picked because I, I don't have time to sit there and scroll through the entire, because my Facebook for paper crafting, people post a lot of stuff and stuff gets pushed down, down, down. And then my computer slows down. You know, it takes forever to load it. The farther down I go down the page. So if you have got pictures, you need to submit them to me or Lynn or Karen uh angela one of us and we will put them in that album tagged with your name on them like i've been doing i tagged the name because i'm just going to go through each picture and write down the name and it's going to go in the draw for the three prizes so if you posted pictures on the actual page itself you must send those picture to one of the admins in the group now if you don't know who they are click on the left side of the page where it says members and at the very top of that page, when you open it up, it'll show you who all the admins are. And you can just click on anybody there. I would prefer you did not send them to me because I honestly do not have time to, to, to go and put everybody's picture in there. So if you don't mind sending them to Lynn or KK or Angela, they might have a little more time than what I've got. So I really, really appreciate if you guys don't send me any more pictures, send them to one of them. <laughs> Sorry, girls. <laughs> but seriously, I don't have time. Like, I'm going to rush through to get Terry's in because she already sent those to me. So I'll get hers done. And she's done hers. And she's got a lot of pictures submitted. So um, her car and tried to rape her she fought back got out of the other side when running she dropped her keys he got them took off with their car she ran to the hospital by ambulance the union fought off the guy to save her job oh my god that is so awful one of the guys she worked with jumped her in the postal service parking lot hit her in the back of her head pushed her in the back seat wow that's not right, man. That's so wrong on all levels. Anyway, let's get back to finishing up this blue land. I hope I've made myself quite clear. No, Terry, don't be sorry. I mean, <clears throat> I'm just running really low on time. And um, I, I, I need to get this finished. I really do. So I can get ready for the wreath challenge that's coming up okay all right yeah i can imagine she's messed up uh lahini like i seriously can imagine all right so i'm making some flips for this page which i think will be really cute So that's going to look pretty there. And then we need this side. So maybe I could use this side. Why not? This is pretty. Um, I think I'll use this close to this side. Okay. I kind of like that. All right. That's pretty. And, whoops. 
And that's pretty. Okay, so that one is good. <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's take this off. This is just garbage. And we shall no, we shall do this. I got the shakes. I don't know why. Yes, that is horrible. Absolutely horrible. See how that fits. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, I need another piece. So um, I think I'm going to do right here. Okay. I'm gonna cut this right now. Yeah, Nick and I was tired of everybody thinking I was a boy, so I put a new pickup. A boy? Yeah, they all thought my picture was a boy. They had short, such short hair. They did? Yeah. I didn't know that. But when I made that picture, I had real short hair. I had it cut into a pixie because I just couldn't deal with it at the time. I think this one here is the same size, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll cut two more pieces. But I don't want this piece. Oh, good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. All right, so on the back side, I'll do this. Let me remove that strip. I wish I looked that good in the morning, Neekin. Yeah, right? I look more like I've been wrestling alligators all night. <laughs> Hi, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. All right. So, we got... This, no, one. Nathan, this one is an upload from somewhere, and the other one was a little program that you could program to what you thought you looked like into it. Okay. All right. And lastly, is this my last one? Wait. Uh huh. This here belongs to this one. Yes. Ma'am. It sure does. This is the bigger one. Now, let's see. What else can I got here that can cut up? Oh, we got some pretty. Okay. I'll cut this off. Hello, oh, Crystal. Hello, Crystal.
and let's see how this looks. It's pretty good. And what's on this side? Uh, I kind of like that. <clears throat> so, okay, now. So this is pretty much the last of the paper I'll be using. So I'm going to show you what my giveaway is. It's one of those. One of those. One of those. One of those. <clears throat> All the leftover sheets. That I will not be using that I did not cut. So there's those. And all the leftovers in this book that I did not cut are going. in here so this has a i don't know there's probably two three sheets there's two sheets of rice paper that's going in one of the gifts and a brand new pack of blue land is going there two and i think that's all the sheets i had left out of all those sheets i purchased that is it other than my scraps and if they win and they want my scraps which are right here i will give my scraps too but i need to make mats so i might make mats out of some of those and i'm gonna make a tag i might even make some tags but there's lots of scraps here so if they want my scraps, I will send them to them because they can use a lot of these scraps <coughs> for their help. So, yep, those are scraps, but I do need that tag. Now, before I get done, I need to do this. What the heck is that that just opened up? Okay. So what happened the other day when I was live, this here is full of magnets. And uh, I sat it on top of my computer. And it. Uh, I didn't realize this was what was doing that to my computer, but it's got magnets everywhere in this. <clears throat> and... I sat it on top there and it was all was over top of the mouse pad thing there and it was opening pages it shut down my computer it did everything so i restarted my computer still not realizing that this is the problem hello uh i called jeff because when it restarted all these pages were opening closing my screen everything was flashing i was going right out of my mind and Jeff come in here. I was like, you need to do something with my computer. I think it's broken. He took this off. <laughs> I've had that to happen. And I called Damien here to be set in his recliner all warm with a cat in his lap. He'll have to get up and he'll be like, he'll just take five seconds and move it and fix the whole thing. Oh, what a hero. <laughs> he uh, knows this. He moved it because he was going to type something. He goes, oh, that must have been the problem. But by that time, my live feed had already stopped. And I thought, I am not going to make a whole new live feed and go live again. So I just didn't go live. And I was kind of cranky that day anyway. <laughs> so it was probably for the best. <clears throat> like one of them uh, I give up moments. <laughs> oh, my God. I did. I gave up. I felt like such an idiot. If you guys would have saw that. I could no, I don't, don't ever put magnets on top of your mouse pad because well, that's I what I did. Imagine, I can imagine the face you were giving him, like oh, you gave him this. I was like, are you serious? Yeah, this pissed off 
<laughs> I'm a dumbass look. <laughs> yeah, I felt like an idiot. <laughs> I put it there. It was sitting there smacking me right in the face. And I'm still <laughs> ignoring it. I'm like, what the hell? My computer just went crazy. <laughs> and back to the rescue, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, so. <laughs> so that was Danielle's phone, of course. And I just did not feel like going live again. Because <laughs> I would have had to make a whole new live feed. And I uh, just said, nah, I'll just, I'll just quit. I'm an idiot. I'll accept it. <laughs> so. Yeah. Hey, you happen to see uh, Prima done a sneak peek yesterday of the 2019. One of their collections are coming out in winter 2019. No. Nope. Called Poetic Rose. Really? Yes, yeah, it's very shabby chic. Oh, I can imagine just by that name. Yes, it's very shabby chic. And the flowers that come with it. Mm -hmm. They remind me, remind me of that, you know, that fence you put around your house? Tyvek? Look, look at the, look, hold on. Look at these flowers. Look at my screen. Uh-huh. See how they look cagey or fence pattern? Yeah. Okay, well, look, here is the washi tape to it. Oh, wow. And then here's one of the pieces of paper. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's coming out when? Uh, probably pretty soon here in the next couple of months. Well, after my wreath challenge, my wreath challenge will go for a while, but that's not all I'm going to work on because it's only going to take me one day to make my wreath. Um, I'll be working on, I'm not sure if I'm working on the Santa baby or the order that I put in. I still have not got from uh, Crafty City because of the postal strike. So it's probably set in one of them damn trucks. No, it's sitting in the United States in Monos. Oh. The government or the government, Canada Post asked all the countries to stop shipping to us because there was such a backlog that was a yeah, big you know what? fat lie that was a huge lie I we had no strikes we did not go full out strike and the mail still moved like we only had a few places shut down in Canada so it it only delayed mail for a day yeah and that, that one senator when I was listening to it he made it out like y'all lost three million dollars and I'm thinking yeah okay that was all fabricated it was fabricated in order for the government to rush us back to work that's what that was all about it was all fabricated lies and you cannot ever prove a government wrong unless you drag their ass to court to court and that's and where that I think they're going to end up yeah that's a lengthy costly thing and the government knows it yes Oh, we already fought it once and we won. I'm pretty sure we'll fight it again and win too because they're violating our... What's the point of having a union? What's the point of having bargaining rights when they just strip them from you? Because they're they're powerful. No, what's the point? You know, what, you know what it is? They need to go back and they need to become the workers that they started out being. They That's won. what they told them. Go they, become an un undercover boss. Yeah, like they need to be, they need to step down from their high horses and step down into the reality of today's society. Not when they were young and and non impressionable or whatever. It's just uh, they need to step down in today's society and work the same hours and the same logs that they're trying to push on everybody. And it'll never happen. Because then they'll start moaning and groaning. Oh, God, no, I got all kinds of problems. You know, I just don't know. Yeah. I just crafted my little craft room. I paid my bills. And I live life as much as I can. 
Okay, that one's done. You know what? I worked so hard on that album. And I'm over here triple dressing how to decorate this dead gone mailbox. I've done changed it twice. Did you? Yep. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. I know. It's crazy. Okay, so this tonic studio um, mat can you cut on it yeah doesn't hurt it you can use an exacto knife on it well it might dull your exacto knife glass is never a good thing to cut on well, if you accidentally slip or something yeah you can you won't hurt it you might scratch it i don't know mm -hmm. i don't use glass i don't cut on mine i always cut on a cutting pad anyway yeah you should always exercise that now this has of course this little heat resistant blue resistant little piece of mat here yep and then underneath of course it's glass yep the reason i don't use mine on live videos is because it has a glare from my lights and that's the only thing I can't stand about it. So I don't even bother using it anymore. It's kind of useless to me right now. It's pretty. Yeah. If it didn't glare. But, oh. but it does have a major glare on it. So I just don't bother using it. I'll just stick to my old tabletop, which was functional and good. All right, two more left. Or yeah, two more. I do have a headache. I said I was gonna take some Tylenol. <clears throat> but didn't. And you didn't. Well, can't fix a headache that way if you don't. Yeah, I always try to avoid Tylenol pills. Why? Wow. Like taking them because they're no good for you. I don't care what they are. Honey, there is <clears> no <throat> medication on this earth good for you. I don't know. <clears throat> Upside yeah. down. My nose is running. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you snorking. Sniffling. I'm snorking, snorking bad. <laughs> I can hear you. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you can hear me, yeah, but I blow, what do you call it, boat horn or something? Oh, a foghorn? Foghorn in it. I'm not foghorn in it. I'm not fog horning it. Okay. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. Fog horning it. All right then. Crystal, did you ever get <clears throat> that album I mailed to you? Or is it still locked up in the mail somewhere? <laughs> Crystal says drink your coffee. <laughs> I am. I just took a swig of it. Kaylin would say hello, but she's too busy drinking a bottle. Oh, hi, hi Kaylin. Can you say hi? No. no. I'm going to give up the baba. No, not going to, Grandma. Not my cereal, now I want my baba. <laughs> exactly. You want to know how my daughter got rid of the bottle? We were coming home one day from uh, shopping. Had to wind us down. It was a hot 
summer day. Hi, Kiki. Hey, Kiki. Yep. She thought it'd be fun to toss a sucker out the window. Hi, Kiki. So that night when she wanted it, we took the opportunity to tell her, remember, you threw it away. And that's it. That's how she, she's like, okay. Crystal says she has not got anything in the mail yet from you, Ruby. I'm so sorry, but it's tied up somewhere. I would be almost scared to ship anything out for at least a couple of weeks. Until everything got kind of normal. Yeah, I don't think things are going to be so guaranteed. Like they were. Mm -hmm. No, she's not, Tiffany. No, I'm not what? Not in the U.S.? No. Nope, I'm in Canada. Give me that, Baba. Give me that, Baba. Give it to me. You don't need it. Give it to me. Yeah, you don't need it. No. Uh, I don't. I'm trying to remember. I get, you know, I'm trying to remember Michaela that little. I'm sitting here just having flashbacks and like vague. Yeah, they're very vague. Because they're so grown up now and mouthy and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michaela's in college. An adult. Right. In a relationship. You know. Yeah. She's, she's a woman. She's all grown up now. How old is she now? She'll be 20 next year. Holy crap. Angela, you're getting old. Hate to tell you. Huh. Yeah, every time I look in the mirror, my boobs get lower. I can pretty much, you know. I stop looking in the mirror. Well, I have to look in the mirror because it'll look like I have somebody took white paint and stuck it on top of my head if I don't keep my hair dyed. Oh, welcome to my world. That's why I dye it burgundy. Keeping a red color. I have natural red in my hair anyway. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh. No worries. You can keep it, KK. Keep, keep what? what? The snow. <laughs> you know, as we said at the same time. Keep oh, what? Oh, she's getting snow. Uh -huh. Not me. I don't like that. You know, it's only supposed to be high 30, 32 today. Okay. Let me see. That's a freaking high. Oh, I want to arrange these. KK wants to build a snowman. So, because she can go right ahead. I am 40 on the dot. I have Michaela when I turn 21. All right. I'm putting this one here. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm 60 million. 60 million. Tiffany mm -hmm. Wells says she wants to move to Canada because she's sick of the politics in the U.S. Yeah. From the way we listen to it, it ain't no damn different in Canada. Nope. <laughs> it ain't. It ain't no better here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Are you growling for Grandma? Are you growling? Are you a monster? Monster, that's her opinion. What's her name again? Kaylin. Kaylin. I wanted to call her Kayla. <laughs> See, that's what I call Michaela for short. I'll go Kayla. Like that. Okay, we'll go. It's Ma Kayla, not Kayla. I'm like, in my world, it's Kayla or whatever I call you at the moment. That's right. Oh, she's Kaylin, Kaylin Marie, and my name's Lynn Marie. So my daughter just stuck a K in front of my name. <laughs> oh, my middle name is Marie. Yeah, we're the Marie clan. That's right. Yeah, buddy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay. Is Grandma that boring? <laughs> that sounded reassuring. Uh huh. Yelling at the cats. Oh, she would have a field day at my house. We have seven, also, Angel. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, yeah. good. thank God. I don't feel so bad. Only two are mine. Yeah, well, only four are mine. And one of them is actually beset, which was Michaela's when I got her, got him when she was three years old. Right. Okay, that cat's pushing 18 years old. Oh, that is pretty cool. It's still kicking. He's like the family cat. <laughs> or grandfather. All right. No. I don't know if I want to leave them like this. Just plain mats. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I will put this one tag in here. Or why not? Why not? Grandma was going to do something, and then you distracted her. Now Grandma can't remember what she was going to do. Getting old. Can't remember. Goes that way, that way, then that way. Oh, we can go. How many children do you have, Lynn? Where's my other butterfly? I have three kids and five grandkids. Whew. Three kids. I told Michaela I'm not ready for kids until she's a till I'm like you know I don't know I'm, I'm My oldest grandchild will be 19 next year. No, I'm not ready. I told her I said wait till you're like 40, then I might be ready. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for this case. Then I see all these uh, grandkid videos and stuff, and I miss Michaela being that small. And it's like mm, puppy dogs and kitty cats, puppy dogs and kitty cats. <laughs> okay, let's get our last page into the book, and then I'm going to decorate the book. All this 
done. I don't know. I just want Michaela to fulfill her dreams and stuff and get her schooling out of the way. Don't be like me. Each. KK just finished a 19 hour fasting. Wow. Girl. See, I couldn't do that diet because my, my diabetes wouldn't let me fast like that. Pages in and it's good. Are you spoiled, Brighton kid? I still love this pocket. I really do. I get it. Just love it. Yeah, it's a pretty one. Yes. You need to steal it. And we go here. It's the wrong color and the wrong size. Here, here. Bring this down, fix these, and lock her up. And there we go. Wow, that album is thick. Holy crap. <laughs> so, now I can cut it out of this. I don't remember a little chonky chonky. What? I said I don't miss chonky chonky. A bit chonky chonky. That's right. Thank you, Red What? Uh. You need to look at the chat. Who? 
You. Why? Ruby, I don't know if you saw Genevieve's is here, hon. Oh, I'm sorry, Genevieve. I didn't <laughs> recognize. I'm sorry. I haven't been looking up. I didn't see her either. I'm sorry, Jen. Okay. I've been, at my, I've been looking down at my mailbox. I would have to say this is a very chunky album, but it, it is what I, my goal I went for. So I'll give you a quick walk through and then i'm going to decorate a little bit on the front here i don't want to i don't want to kill all my design on this so this is definitely how you open it so let's start with page one and tie that and i did use plastic this time instead of vellum so I, don't even, I don't even remember what i've done myself <laughs> What have I done? Holy crap. Okay. So we have work Jen, work, 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 Jen. <laughs> we have a picture mat in this. We have two really pretty tags. Oh, I love these tags in this pocket. And there's a mat in behind that. This pulls down. I know there's a mat right here. I can clearly see it in this pocket. And then there's two mats here on this big mat. Two more mats. You don't uh, forget what you've done. <laughs> I did. And it closes that way. It opens this way. And we've got a mat here. And we've got this opens this way. Okay, now I kind of remember. Oh, yeah. Look at this pretty mat with the Damonte chain. I remember you, mm -hmm. and that's a nice big pocket for it, and then a nice big place here, and a nice tuck spot with some ephemera in it from the pack. So, yeah, that's going to close like that, and it's going to open up like this. This is a big pocket, and then we've got a tuck spot in here. So this here holds that little round wheel. And then back here, we've got a um, nice place. That's the one I all fussy cut that chair out. I don't know why I did that. And it goes in that pocket. And then this is a magnetic. It's a magnetic little booklet. I bent that right there. And it, see? It closes with the magnet. And then that just goes in there. So that's that pocket. Wow. That is a big pocket. And then I'll just close it with this blue, blue lace to hold it shut. And then I kind of forgot what I did here. So bear with me. Okay. That's tux. Um. Hi, hey, Barbara. Okay, so this here has two mats. Okay, I, I remember that photo. Sort of. This is so pretty, this mini album in the house. Were you sober during the making of this mini album? What? I, I said, were you sober during the making of this mini album? I think I was. <laughs> okay, okay, now I remember this is a mat and that opens up this way <laughs> so yeah it's double sided and then it closes like that and then it closed there over here we have a floating oh no that's just a pocket oh it is it's a tag oh ever pretty hey i don't remember I, I'm kind of remembering now all the work I did to this these pages. It only took a month. Oh, oh I got the one stuck somewhere. I'm putting it in crooked with my left hand. And I am not left-handed. There we go. All right. So this is going to open like, oh, this is the envelope. Remember this? There's yeah. Pots here, 
This was an envelope that just opens up with all these in it. Oh, mats. I love this envelope. And the envelope has a nice little spot right here to just tuck the flap. Your I mean, sister's in the house. Hey, sister. And then this here is just a mat. And this actually is glued down. So don't let that fool you. But these don't come off. That kind of looks neat. And that's a pretty pocket with the Damante chain in it. And then it just closes with the magnet. This is the one that has the floating mat. I love this floating mat. So it opens like so and like so. So you got mats on both sides, like bookmark mats. And then it opens up like that. And there's bookmarks here as well on each side. And then there's just this little envelope here with a bunch of card tags in them. There's six tags in this little envelope. Ever cute. Did I do that? <laughs> and then it's got a no, water. I think it was Patsy. <laughs> what? It was it's a waterfall. And look at surprise. More tags. I love this page too. Really pretty. So it will close like this, like this, and then the floating closure. Oh, wow, that really, those magnets are unbelievable. Yeah, they're strong. They are very strong. And then we've got this cute, 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 cute. cute. I adore this. All these pockets. So here's a beautiful tag. The butterflies on it. And that just sits in behind here. And then each one of these has a pretty tag. I love that, I love that page too. Yeah, I love this one. So the tags just sit in each one of them. So they all have um, a tag. And then it just closes with the belly band that way. The bow there. So they all have their own uh, mat. Each one of those is a mat. And then this is the one I just did. So, yeah. Got all our tape there. Got a mat there. Then this opens up. And there's a big mat in behind. I love this picture. So that's why I made a pocket here. Because I just wanted to use that picture up. And then these are all mats. So these all open up. Like so. And there's a couple little tags in a little tuck spot in behind here. And then there's this beautiful... Uh, envelope I made, signed it. That's got a nice little tag in it. It's super sparkly. Just slides in under here. You can see it's clear plastic, and it's a magnetic closure, and it just sits in here. So this closes first. There, there, and there. And this just comes down. i got to fix these, though. And then that magnet closes that. And this is a little tuck spot for a pretty, pretty little tag that just sits right in there. Over here, I didn't do a whole lot. I don't even remember what I did. Oh, yeah, okay. So i done a couple of these pages where there's tags in behind the plastic. So you could put... Uh, a portrait in there. Now I can't get it back in. Why always do I have problems? Why? Why for me? Okay. So this is the same thing here or what? What is this? What did I do here? Hello? Oh. Is it? Is it on the side? Why am I not seeing this? Hang on. I don't get it. What do they do here? There's your little pull tag, Ruby. Hello? Go back up. Patsy Go back said up. Flip it open, Ruby. 
What? Flip, flip your page up. Hang on. I your little tag. Oh, I no, that's for this one. But this one should have had an opening. Does it go from the side? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's up here. Ah, now I get what I did. See, I lost my mind. Your sister's trying to your phone camera. What? Oh, I was just saying what your sister was calling it. Some timers? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is the tag. Now I remember. See? This is the one I made that I put the upside down uh, butterfly on it. So it sits straight up when you hold it up. The butterflies upright and then all of these are just tags or pockets that I don't even know where I had all these in there and one there one there and I don't know where the other one was maybe it was in here I don't know See? I shouldn't have took it all out, but I'm pretty sure that's how it was. Pretty sure that's how it all went. And finally, finally, I this nice big fat keepsake box inside of your back of your album, and that's how thick that keepsake box is. So it'll hold quite a bit. And then we got this I put inside. So this opens up very pretty, like so. Oops. Like so. And you put photos on both sides. So this will hold a whole lot of photos. It doesn't seem like it's taken you a month, but it has. There. And this is for all photos. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So, and then you just flip it back, going in the same place, direction that you opened it. And then I made this cute little belly band for it, which I love. And then it just fits on there, and it fits perfectly. And it's magnetic, so it fits perfectly in here. Like that. So that you see it in the window. You see? Something like that. And this has got a pull-up tab. So let's have a look. See? How do I want that? Oh, I think right there. There we go. So that's the whole album. Beautiful. I just love it. A lot of work went into this. A lot of work. Okay, so I'm going to decorate this now. Actually, I'm just going to tell you. Beautiful, Ruby. Thank you. Gorgeous. All right. Now, let's bring out. I want to put that um, frame. Where is my frame? Where put that frame? Okay, so I need the flowers. But I only need my cameo frame. There it is. All right. Found it. Okay. 
Okay, so I need to find something to put in behind my cameo frame that I like. Let's see. Oh, I think that might look nice. Mm. I don't know. I kind of like that. That's what I'm going to use. So just use a pencil. And then you want to cut it a wee bit bigger. Pretty. Okay, now I need a piece of plastic. I want to make the plastic thing for it. Wants to know how many packs of paper did you use for the album, Irby? Um, about three packs and 10, 25 sheets. Three packs and 25 sheets. That was for the house and the album. And I have a whole pack of paper and a couple of sheets left and rice paper that I'm giving away as prize number two for the album challenge. Cool. Okay, so let's do some Wink of Stella. Hey. Bye, Terry. Be safe. Bye, Terry. Thanks for coming. Bye, Terry. All right, I'm going to dry this quickly. So pretty. So pretty. Now, I need to put some... Hmm, hmm, I think I'm going to use... I think I'll use glossy accents. Don't know why, but... What? What? You're going to use a glossy accent? Yeah, to glue the plastic. Yeah, it does glue plastic really nice. Yeah, it sure does. <sighs> um, okay. Does not want to come out. Jerk. Must be something hardened here. I don't use glossy accents very much. There we go. Yeah, it'll do that. It's notorious. Yep, it sure is notorious. Even with the cap on it, it still does that? Yep. You have to stick a pin or a... Just something down in there. I did. Let's see. Oh, we. Angela. Mm hmm. Patsy's saying hello to you. 
Oh, hey, Patsy. I'm looking down. I'm gluing. Oh. And hello, mixed up crafts. Hey, Sam. Okay. I'm not all she wrote. So we will do that on there. That is so pretty. Look at guys. Oh, that is pretty. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love them. Frames. What? I love them frames. Yeah, I do too. Okay, so I need just very little glue. Where'd you get the frames? Notions a long time ago. Yeah, it's one of them lucky finds. Yeah. Aren't them Tim Holt frames? Yes. Uh, are they? Yeah, they are. They're Timmy Holt, sees. That's what I thought. Mm hmm. If you start adding his stuff up, his stuff can get expensive. Oh, my God. Yeah, his stuff's not cheap. By no means. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to put this down diligently. Oops, I'm sorry. I have to put this. Probably put my head in front. But I have to be very diligent on how I put this down. Because it ha it's only going to fit on here one proper way and patsy said ruby she's not going to chuck's on sunday i have bo's 40th perfect did you hear me yep i okay. said perfect to her oh i thought you were talking about the frame <laughs> <laughs> seriously i was like i'm cursing my sister <laughs> Oh, you dirty pygmy at moon. Why don't you do it southern style? Well, that's quite all right, darling. <laughs> no, I like the one, bless your heart. Oh. Bless your little heart. Bless your yeah. little heart. That's darling. the one when you turn to walk away from me, I'm going to slap you upside the head. <laughs> bless your little heart. Well, ain't you just a happen sun ray of sunshine just walking up into my world? Yeah. What is God's name are you guys talking about? We're, so, we're doing southern isms for like uh if a southern woman ever says, Well, bless your little heart, you've like, just been pretty much told to fuck yourself. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, just back up. Don't turn your back. Just back up. Just back <laughs> up and say, Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. like your mom taking you sh her shoe off after you <laughs> you don't run you duck <laughs> right or you remember when you got in trouble and you had to go pick out your own switch yes oh, and then, that. Uh, yeah and then if you picked out a, a broken one or a dead one or something and it broke <laughs> hey know. that's a western thing too because my uncle did that and he ain't never lived anywhere but iowa well let me tell you yeah, you had to get the green ones. Yep. The started your ankles and work your way up. Started the ankles and work your way up. Let me tell you, you, uh -oh. you, you didn't you didn't get in trouble for whatever it is you got in trouble for again after that. Nope. I, I, I would never go get my own switch. Nope, nope. He tried to make me a couple times. I would not do it. I just sit down on the floor and say, you're going to smack me, you're going to go get it. <laughs> I got caught talking back one time. My mom and dad walked in the house and my mom's like, Karen Lee. And I was like, I don't care. I'll take dad's belt. I am not getting my own whooping. Yeah, I've dad's belt too before. That shit hurts. <clears throat> yep. It hurts even worse when you put your hands behind there trying to block it. Because your hands hurt worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, try running. 
try <laughs> running boring. from them and they get that switch between your legs and it switches back and forth as you're trying to run. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. Must have been oh, little. And, and you know, and the torture didn't end there. When you got in the bathtub after a whooping that night, the little heart stung. It was like you'd be a torture uh, for two days for what damn thing you did. No, that's okay, KK. <laughs> what did KK say? Free whiplash. <laughs> I'm glad my parents were civilized and used a belt. <laughs> yeah. My mama used a, a switch and my dad used a belt. Yeah, no, my mom used my dad's belt. <laughs> Honestly, I think my mom just used whatever she could get a hold of. Broom. That's my mom, but she she has a habit of throwing if she got mad oh, enough. I hated the Come flash on. water. Did you ever get hit with a flash water? Yep, and a kettle cord. I don't think so. Yep, I got hit with a flash water. Now that I, was sting. My I'm dogs not, know that. I remember I was in uh, first grade and I had this teacher. Her name was Miss Stacker. You mean a woman? But she died of breast cancer probably like a year later. And uh, I remember her for one thing. I was sitting at the table and I reached to get a book out of turn. And she took her little ruler and popped the shit out of my hand. I looked at her and I just started. I was like, oh, my God. You remember getting paddlings in school? I almost got one paddling when I was in school. A paddling? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nope, I never got paddled. They don't do that stuff no more. Um, Damn, teachers now carry guns. Can you blame them? Well, you know why? Because the millennials were not raised like we were. When all these when you know, when the when the kids figured out, hey, I can cry uh wolf, I can cry um uh, my mama beat me bullshit. Uh the parents got scared to discipline them. I guess so. Cause let me tell you something. If if I had done remotely anything, you could y'all all could say it, remotely did anything what half these damn teenagers are doing now, Lord Jesus. Our parents put the fear of God in us. Parents today don't do nothing. No, nope. kids get to talk back and live on their iPads or uh -huh. devices. So, uh, social media raises their children. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Parents were savages. Yeah, they were. Okay. I need some little flowers. Some little beets. Oh, these are cute. I want some white. Now, I have to say, my daughter's good. I raised her right. She said she can be independent and she can do whatever she wants to. You know. I've seen kids in her generation just absolutely will just blow your mind like what you know and then they wonder why these kids are and then the cop you got you got cops and all these people going but well, we don't know why society's like it is and we don't it's because y'all have regulated so many rules and given so much leadway to these kids that I mean people now even if you say shut up in public 
it's kind of it's considered harassment if you tell your kid to shut up wow seriously yes it's ridiculous in public and i'm thinking okay you take my child home and you let him throw this same temper tantrum and then you tell me what you say are you gonna sit down and, and you know what is it? oh i've seen kids scream bloody fragging murder in the store and the moms are just standing there looking at product yeah like nothing i'm like oh hell no i'd be taking that kid to the car <laughs> they're screaming with temper tantrums because you didn't buy them something oh yeah that's something my daughter never did i i give her snaps for that that is something my daughter never did because I told you know I raised her right. I was like, look, we can't always get what we want. You can show me what you like, and if I can get it, I'll get it. If I can't, I can't. You know. See, one thing I wouldn't let my daughter do was stay in the house all the time. I would go outside with her. I would play with her. I would keep her outside like I was raised. I would, you know, she did have her movies and her little gadgets here or there. But I tried to keep her honest. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And trust me, there was a couple of times I thought I was going to have to call 911. But she climbed the damn tree. I swear she got up in the tree. How'd you get her out? Well, I pushed a big old eight foot round trampoline under the tree. I guess Mama Bear got into me. I pushed that damn trampoline under that thing and I hoaxed her down and I said, jump. Yep. Then after that, she kept jumping out of the damn tree onto the trampoline. <laughs> so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Kids today don't respect people. They think they deserve everything handed to them. Society has taught them that they don't need to go out and get an education that if you go and start a YouTube channel and act like a damn idiot You can make money and right. sadly You can and that's what's sad Patsy says, Ruby and our younger sister ran away. Tell them where you ran away to, sis. Synagogue. We were hiding in the garbage can at the synagogue. Why were you hiding in the garbage can? Because I hated my grandmother. She was so mean to me. So I took my little sister and ran away. And my mom was in the hospital. She just had surgery. And she had to come out of the hospital because there was a police force out looking for us. Because my grandmother phoned my mom. My mom had to come out of the hospital. How did they find you? I don't know. All I know is we were sitting in the synagogue garbage can. It's a big, huge wooden garbage can that you could climb in and sit there. We brought food. We had our purses. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was eight and Julie was like three years old. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I remember sitting in the back of the police cruiser and saying, we found them, we got them. They knew exactly where we were hiding. 
And it was just down the street from the house. <laughs> but my grandmother was being mean to me. Um, when my mom was in the hospital, she was babysitting us. And my grandmother was being mean. So I said, I'm running away. And then when I said I was running away, my little sister was bawling her eyes out. Take me with you. I had to take her with me. Because she was very upset. She's like, don't leave me with this woman. Don't leave me with Nanny. She's so mean. No. Julie was a Julie was pretty small, pretty young then. So Patsy's laughing her head off. Mm-hmm. That was those were the days. What? You did Mob Joe. Um, no. Actually, the police told my mom not to spank us. Because um, it would make us run away again. So I can't remember, though. I was so young. I can't remember if my mom went back into the hospital or she stayed out. Patsy might remember. I don't. I just remember running away with Julie. Yep. Because Nanny was being mean to us. What was she doing? I don't remember. All I remember is my grandmother was mean. Oh, my God. My grandmother was being a big-ass meanie. So, yeah. I wasn't too pleased with her. So. <laughs> Why is it I could picture you at eight, year old, eight years old cussing somebody out calling them an ass hat? <laughs> Because I probably didn't know that back then to call her an ass hat. But she was being mean and a bitch, and I just ran away. So they were looking for us. They were The whole city of Thunder Bay was looking for us because we were all over the news. We were gone all day. I took her shopping. I stole $20 out of my grandmother's purse because I needed money to live. <laughs> you had it all played. I did. I wasn't coming back till my mom got out of the hospital because my grandmother was so mean to us. So mm, that didn't last, did it? No, it sure didn't. So, oh, that is so pretty. I need to put some kind of bling on this a little bit. So, yeah, my grandmother um, called the police, and then my mom came up rushing out of the hospital. And she, and uh, my my mom... Patsy said, who ran away to the church? Me and Julie. Again? It was the synagogue. Oh, it wasn't a church. Well, synagogue can be. And nobody saw y'all? That's how we got caught, because we got so, seen going in and out of that garbage can because we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yes, we got caught. It's not that I, I, I was scared of getting caught. You know, it wasn't that. I just didn't want to see my grandmother because she was being mean. Is that what you told the cop? Yep. <laughs> and I'm riding in the back of the cop car in there, and I heard him talking on the radio saying, we found them. The children are safe. I'm like, no, I'm not, because I'm just going to run away again, I said. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother's being mean. <laughs> Like that, that didn't get me very far. <laughs> I had to go home. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't a happy camper about that. But my mom stayed home. I think I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure she did. And then after that, my grandmother was always disliked me. She was never nice to me. <laughs> because you made her look bad. <laughs> had no reason to be a bitch. <laughs> My whole life, my grandmother was so mean. I cannot tell you nice stories of my grandma. My was this your mama's mom or your daddy's mom? My mother's mother. 
Well, what did your mama say about it? She treated my mom the same way. She was nasty to my mom. Only certain kids in, in my mom's family own, uh, made it to be uh, her dream children. What would she do? Holler at you or something? I can't remember when I was a kid, but she, I would never go visit her because I couldn't stand how mean she was. And then she moved to BC, and my little sister was moving to BC with, with my grandmother. She was riding the bus with her, and she, I remember the postcard she wrote to me, something about this lady is mental. I can't stand her. I'm on, stuck on a bus with her. <laughs> it was my grandmother. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and then I did not see my grandmother much after that, and then she passed away, so... My grandmother on my mama's side died in 86. Mm -hmm. I was probably seven or eight. Uh -huh. And then my grandmother passed away two years ago on my dad's side. I, I was, you know, my grandmother, my grandmother stayed alive uh, all the way up to Michaela's 18th birthday almost. My grandma was me. She was not my friend. I don't remember. I only remember bits and pieces of my mama's mama, but I remember all kinds of stuff with my other grandmother. Right. But they were never mean to me, no. Never mean to me at all. Well, mine was. She was a miserable old hag. But my mom was mean to me, so I guess it mellowed out. My mom was very strict. My mom oh, look at those. Mental problem. But, um, hmm. Let me have a look at this. Oh, that's so pretty. It needs something here. I know what it needs. I know what it needs, guys. Don't call the cops. Hold the phone. Hold the, your titties. I'll get it. Hold the titties, okay. <laughs> I found them. All right. I haven't used these for such a long time. I'm going to use some. Huh? What are they? The flat little gems that look like, um, you know. Gems? They look wet, like bubbles. I'm wondering if I should use white glue. It dries clear anyway. It is paper. Yeah, but I always use glossy accents for stuff like that. You do? Yeah, anything acrylic or clear. This glue is amazing. Hello. Hi. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This is that the glue that they only ship during one time a year or something? You bet your bottom dollar. We'll see that. That's right. It's, it's yeah. They, hey, they want to sponsor a show with me, but they won't ship it till it gets warmer. Who does? That glue company. Oh, I use their glue, and they don't want to sponsor a show for me. Well, they can kiss my eyes. Well, you got to you got to write them. Oh, I won't. You got to write them. Yeah, I, I don't they just them. approach you. I, no, they didn't approach me. I approached them. I'm like, look, I've been hearing a lot about your glue. I would love to feature it on one of my shows. I gave them all my links. They're like, oh yeah, sure, we'd love to work with you, but it, we're not shipping in cold winter, cold weather. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, it's still warm here in the south. They're like, eh, we don't want to take a chance. And then they're like, well, we do want to do a giveaway, and we don't know where the person will be, live, during if they win a giveaway, mm -hmm. and blah, 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 blah. It was, yeah. I said, well, I'll hit you up in the summer. Yep. That's what you need to do then. You rotten pygmy, you just had to flip over, didn't you? And, yeah. Oh, now that I open my mouth, I'm pretty sure I'll be blackballed. 
Aw, oh, don't say that. Just keep running your mouth, Angela. Just keep running it. That's right. Don't never be don't ever be afraid. That's right. Uh, yeah. One more. We need one right there and we need a baby one. Oh, I need one more somewhere else too. I mean, they look white, but they're really actually clear bubbles. I haven't used these in a long time because these were meant for card making, but I'm not making cards, but they still are pretty on flowers, too. So, mm-hmm. Righto. Righto. Okay. So, I'm going to... Hit it up with the glue gun one more time. What do you guys think? Gorgeous. It'll look wet when it. it dries. Oh, yeah, and this pulls out to put a picture in. Remember this? This mm -hmm. was fun to do. Ruby, what size are them pearls? Which ones, Karen? Right in front of your hand there. Which ones? In These? The, the color in the in the yeah, the one. container. These are several sizes. Okay. There's like eight. These are from Michaels. They have all kinds of colors, and these were all like um, like a uh, what do you call it? Spring color mix. Okay. Pink and light brown and green. There's no blue though, so I just used the white, which I think the white looks, you know, takes away from some of that blue. But I wish that glue yeah. would have dry. But I think that looks so pretty. I should have put one right there because there's no gem right there. Let me put one of these clear raindrops over there. And I just want a widow one. Dropped it. I probably should have used glossy accents, but oh. It'll be all right. Yeah, there we go. I think that is beautiful. Every part of it turned out stunning. Even the side of it is gorgeous where the spine. I don't want to overkill it. Usually I put way too much flowers on and then it ruins it. So I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave it like that. So we are uh, done. We are so are we done. Huh? You need to, you, you to re-chat. <laughs> our nanny didn't like none of my mom's kids. Nanny only liked our oldest sister, Colleen. Yep. Keep going down. Oh, sure. That's right, Angie. I'm not afraid of Ruby laughing my ass off. I'm really brave on the phone. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Shirley Howe says they're more afraid of you, Angela. Than I am of them. Well, that's for sure. Well, nobody needs to be afraid of Angela anymore because she is, has a beautiful heart. Oh, I'm a total different person than I was. Yes, she, she is. She's a big old teddy bear. Yeah. Huh? All right, guys. She's a big old teddy bear. Hi, team. We are all done. Our house. Ladder up. Ladder up. Ladder up. Okay, well, and we are all done our album. Look at this. It fits in here absolutely perfect. Oh, my goodness gracious. Holy moly, I albums every bit of this width of that house. Mm -hmm. Look at this. All right, let's plug her in. Plug, plug it in. in, plug <laughs> it in. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This is so, I just love this. Let me turn out some lights. I'm going to just leave these. 
like that, but you'll get the gist of, there's it all lit up inside. There's the side. You can see all the pretty album in there. Yeah. Wow. That looks better than mine. This is really gorgeous. I absolutely adore this. I love it. I love it. Like, I'll do something and Ruby takes it to, like, the 12th degree. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> but yeah, but you do that to me, too. I you know. know Sweet. It's always that way, though, because <clears throat> you kind of get influenced. That yes. I call it influenced by, some, by a project someone else does, and you just take it to your own level. So Exactly, and I'm like, bowing down. Yes, this is better than mine. Yeah. Look at, this is so cute. Because her album's 10,000 times chunkier. And more to it, and her house lights up. Mine didn't light up. <laughs> this is Bye, really, Patsy. really gorgeous. Ruby, really your gorgeous. sister's leaving. Yeah, that's all right. Bye. Hey. <laughs> oh Damn, that's just cold. <laughs> she made me bring up my history with my grandmother, which I. I I I forgave her before she died because my mom was heartbroken when she died. But and I think my grandmother apologized to my mom because she was very mean to my mom's family. She only liked the family of the kids that always went to jail. Good. All right. That makes sense. <laughs> this is a absolutely beautiful masterpiece. I can't even tell you. What it looks like, you guys would can only imagine if you have made stuff. You always see things in real life, and then you take a picture of it, and it's like, oh, that doesn't do it no justice, you know? So, yeah. yeah. And I just, you know what? I just love the front of this house. It just is. I love the icicles. I just love all of it. It's I love so the lace in the windows and the fact you can still see the album through the windows. Yes, and that's why I made those big windows because the album I knew was going to be pretty, and you want to see it from all the sides. So, I yeah, don't know. you're looking I, in the house, you're like, "What is that? What's in there?" And then you open it up, buy them. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. I'm so glad it's all finished. Very, very, very happy that it's all done. So, next thing I work on. I to own this beauty. Contact Ruby. Yeah, it's for sale, but I don't post it on anything. I will take pictures of it. I will try. My pictures always turn out so crappy. Well, put it in the sunlight. I try that. I do. And I made these bath bombs the other day. These are for my son. And this one is uh, peppermint and vanilla. And this one is um, jasmine, eucalyptus, and vanilla. So I made a bunch of these for my girls. And then I made four of these for my son. In the He loves, mm, I wish you could smell the peppermint and the vanilla. Oh, my God. Probably smells like a peppermint cake. Yeah, and these ones I made with those Christmas ornaments, the ones that you decorate and fill. Mm-hmm. And shrunk the plastic around them. They didn't turn out all that great. But I have every one of them that I made are all sealed. And I let my grandkids try one. So I brought them a, I brought them one when we went for dinner there on Sunday. I brought them each. Uh, well, you, everybody bath. says, Linda Tree says, Oh, Ruby, that has got to be the most beautiful album set I've ever seen. Shirley Howell says, Ruby has topped herself once more. And Darlene Hopkin says, every Snow Queen, I am sure, loves this house. Thank you, Darlene. Thank you, ladies, everyone. I, I remember asking the question, who would you picture living in a house? And who's the one that said me? <laughs> Lainey. I think it was Lainey. It was so direct. It was so funny. <laughs> so I will be back. Uh, December the 1st, which is going to be, uh, no, sorry, wait, no, 
Is it December 1st I was doing the draw or November 30th? Does anybody know? Remember? I know December 1st you're going to. That's I'm, this Saturday. You're supposed to start. I'm you starting my wreath Saturday. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be uh, November 30th. So if you have pictures and you posted them in the Facebook group, get them out of there and send them to Angela or Karen, KK or um, uh, Lynn, because I honestly do not have time. I have to do some sewing over the next couple of days. I've got to finish prepping the gifts because I'm giving away this. Here is all the leftover paper. These are all the sheets left over, including the rice paper and a whole pack of blue land paper. This is prize number two, but I'm not done with it. There's still more to it. <coughs> prize number three is this entire set that I printed off with my laser printer of uh, Dreams, etc. Um, this is the exact same sheet, only this one's on the vellum. And I think I've done a few of them on vellum. Yep, this is on vellum as well. You, see, is, you can't print, you can't inkjet on vellum, can you? I don't think so, no. And this one's on vellum as well, but it's the same as that. And then this one is on vellum as well. <coughs> and this one's on vellum. Love these. This is Dreams Etc. Christmas Remnants, I think. I can't remember what it was called. And I'm not going to go through every page, but I printed off every single thing to that set for you to cut out and make yourself. But even the ephemera is absolutely gorgeous. So I cut everything out or printed everything out. <coughs> this also comes with Angela's Christmas set. I haven't got that printed out yet. Uh, I'll be printing out that set. And Angela already gave me permission to give away uh, one set of that Christmas paper that she designed. And it's beautiful. <coughs> so, you know, I haven't um, sold one. <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't think I would. That's because you need to use it. You need to make something with that set completely. And not and people need to see that set before they actually buy it do you know what yeah. i mean it's this is hard for someone to picture this but when they start building stuff with this they're gonna be like <coughs> wow but anyway and this will be prize number three prize number two will be this but there's other things i haven't got them all together yet and prize number one and there's something else with this as well besides angel's thing and prize number one is that big, huge purple pearl butterfly uh, bag that I made. So that's prize number one. So, yeah. So we need to get together, or not together, we need to get our accent together here and get <coughs> everything posted. Yeah, because really tomorrow uh, afternoon at 6 I have my first uh, class with the patrons. Um, we're doing our first technique out of that book. And right, then, right, right. Yep. And then Saturday afternoon, probably <coughs> after you do your class. Right. Mine's at six. So. Oh, I'm not going to be live tomorrow, guys, because like I said, I got to get all this mess cleaned up in here. I got to get organized. I got to get a little bit organized. My room is disgusting. And I I want to put these prizes together because I want to get ready to ship them. You'll probably not even get them for Christmas because of the, uh, the lateness and depending who wins and where they're where they're going. So because of our backlog of parcels, so they say we have, um, I'm not going to guarantee you're going to get it by Christmas, unfortunately, because of the postal strike. So well, I'll do my best. Yeah. I will do my best. You so actually, 
Actually, some of the things that I used in this, um, the butterfly, the blue land, that I didn't use everything, I'm also going to package all that up because I have no use for it because I'm not into blue at all very much. But I loved this paper line and I could not resist it because it was a very warm, it's a very warm kind of blue. But you would think blue would be cold, but it's not. It's it's such a beautiful warm paper. So I'll be packing up some stuff for that as well. So anyway. <coughs> um, Donna Hicks says she prints on vellum with inkjet printer with no problem. Just have to let it dry before touching. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know, Don. I did not know that. Oh, so, good. Yeah, I, I have, that's I have awesome. I'm scared to try it. I'm like, man, I come out like a big mess. Yeah, well, that's like glossy paper. If you print something on glossy paper from your inkjet, it will smear too if you touch it. Yeah, well, I yeah, yeah you I, have I, to I, let it dry. But see, vellum paper, the ink likes to sit on top of it sometimes. Certain ink. Right. So I wasn't sure with the ink jet, but I'll have to try it because I do want to do some um, print out on some vellum. And so, you ever thought about printing out on acetate? I tried. It won't do it? Didn't work for me. Yep. My printer did not work. Well, if ink jet won't do it, this uh, laser won't do it. Ain't gonna nope. do it. All the, when I printed on the piece of plastic, all the block was standing up like hairs. <laughs> But that's what it looked like. <laughs> it <was a> big mess. <laughs> looked like a cheetah pet going out of there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it was a disgusting, disgusting, disgusting mess. Mm -hmm. Sure was. <laughs> I gave $50 to see your face. That thing going out. Oh, it's got <laughs> hairs. It did. It was like little tiny fuzzies that all around anywhere there was black it was standing up on the plastic so that black ink got all inside of my 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 laser printer and i got a gut feeling that's why it doesn't print very good right now so and, <clears> I, gotta I, way to I would say so because as it was pushing out <laughs> yeah right? you probably need to clean your heads or something i done all that i've tried everything so i just need it There's to work long enough that I can print those pages of Angela's off. No, no, I don't care about it. Tiffany but. Wells said she she would love the extra blue paper. Um, she'll buy them from you. Oh, sweetie, this was part of the giveaway. Maybe we can oh. find the link where you can order it. Um, people have tried. Uh, Stomperia. Once they sell out, they don't make it anymore. Wait a minute. I have my links. Hang on. What's it called? Blue Land? Yeah, it's Blue Land. See I know. If you can find it. I know. Yes, this is part of my giveaway for number two. This is the second prize. It's um rice papers. There's two sheets of this. There's still sheets left inside the album of the beautiful paper. Holy crap! office supply.com has it has it for ten dollars and 34 cents the paper bag of this yes yeah, so go look check this link y'all i seriously go look at that link i would never even heard of it and then there's the brand new one right here not even opened so that's prize number two and whoever wins it whoever wins the blue land if they want all these scraps to use in their albums I'll gladly oh, send them so all the scraps for this. I was going to use this on the spine, remember? And it is a pretty blue pearl paper, and it matches nicely, but I didn't. So I left that in there as well. I'm so whoever to wins it. this can have all these scraps, too. These come in handy. There's some nice pieces in here for making bags, cutting things out. Look, nothing wrong with that. That, or I put it in the garbage. So it's Holy just moly. They've got, this office supplies place carries, oh my God. 
see if y'all can find it here. Go to this link right there. Office Supply. I searched Blue Land, and if you scroll down, they have Scrapberry Dreamland Swirl embellishments. Ooh, those are pretty. Oh, yeah. They got, um, oh, no, that ain't regular Office Supply, though, is it? Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. Office Supply, like, um, what you call it? They, I've bought Graphic 45 from them. Yeah, the right there is where you would order it. I mean, it's for ten dollars, it's thirteen dollars and sixty three cents to me for the Stamparia paper. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, so I can imagine how much the shipping is to Canada, so I'm not even gonna try that. If you now, I go here now. Now, right here, I shop here all the time, and there's amazing company. Mm -hmm. I shop at um, a cherry on top all the time. It's not ten dollars so, for me. What I'm looking at it's thirteen sixty three. Yeah, it's thirteen sixty three for me too. I swear it is ten dollars and thirty. Well, then you better put in, you better put it in your cart. <laughs> yeah, it's ten dollars. Look, I'm I'm gonna do this. Hold on, control print screen. Y'all gotta see this. Function. Because I am not joking. It's considered to me a hot buy. So let me go to Facebook and show you what I'm seeing. Yeah, I, I, I looked it up too, and it's showing as a hot buy for me also for 1034. Exactly. There you go. Regularly 1363. Yeah. It's showing for me a 1034 hot buy. Yep. That's what you, both, you both just need to shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 boo boo. <laughs> we must have some serious coupons. I got a bunch of Santa baby stuff too. Coupons, <laughs> coupons. So those are two places y'all could order. Somebody get killed? No, that's the dog. He wants outside. <laughs> now, Photobella, I've ordered from them before. Um, this is another place you can shop at. Um, I've ordered from Fol Photobella before, and they have it for twelve thirty nine. They piss me off. I've ordered from them before. They just make me mad. Look, it's showing thirteen sixty three for Tiffany, but me and you, Lynn, it's showing ten bucks. Yeah, I know. How's that? I don't, know. I don't know what to tell them. I don't either. I don't either. <laughs> Did you yeah. know Stamparia had the winter botanic uh, Christmas collection? It was very traditional Christmas. Oh, you want to know about a traditional Christmas paper? You need to look at Authentique's uh, Christmas paper this year. Really traditional. Extremely traditional. Stamparia has the botanic from Stamparia too. Yeah. But if y'all want a really pretty traditional one, um, Authentic <laughs> Yeah, Authentic has one this year. Really nice. Oh well, I can't buy any paper. Uh, no, I, I I spent like five hundred dollars on Christmas. I went I done some Friday shopping, so nope. You done Friday shopping? Yeah, I took we we got some deals like for we got some things for the house that were on sale and you know we just got Michaela a bunch of clothes that the child needed. I bought her a, a new I bought her that new coat and stuff. I went ahead and let her have the clothes because she could wear them because she's walking back and forth on campus. And as cold as it's been, you know. So we took we took advantage of some sales and stuff, but I saw. All right, people, I'm gonna get going. And yeah, I'm gonna get in here and take something for my nose. <laughs> I've been sniffing. Yeah, she is. Okay, sniffing. we have a question first, Ruby, before you go. What's Lynn, that? Lynn, who wants to know, can we still submit 
if we have the album done but don't get the house done for instance you can submit even if the the album's not done you can just submit pictures to uh kk or lynn or angela don't send them to me because i honestly don't have time guys i don't have time okay but <clears throat> these last few days is the last and then the the draw will be on friday for the winners and i'll be going through that album so if you put pictures on the facebook i won't be seeing those pictures they have to go in the album okay remember that if they're not in the album you're going to get missed in the draw so i've repeated this i don't know how many times and i just want you guys to know that if you post them in the facebook group your name isn't going to get picked because i'm not going to see those pictures <clears throat> they get pushed down to the bottom and i don't have time to scroll through all the work or all the pictures and everything in in the facebook page because it slows my computer down and it takes forever to load what's at the bottom so you, you can even email them to lynn you can do anything other than uh don't send them to me <laughs> yeah yeah you can email them to lynn because i'm going to be busy trying to get my stuff done so i don't know if i will have time to look well, what happens when I get them sent to me, I have to download every single picture individually and then yeah. upload it into the album. And that takes a long time for me to do so uh, because I'm going through individual pictures and I don't have just one. There was a few people that have sent me pictures and it's and sent me lots. So, so yeah, it doesn't matter if your album's finished or your house is finished. <coughs> it's all on the pictures <clears throat> that you took as you were making it yeah it's your progression yep progression and, and, the, and this is exactly how the the wreath is going to go you post pictures of your progression through the month of december mm -hmm. that's it yep and i um, do it i do it heart shapes i'm being different oh well then yeah I am gonna be different. I don't want to do a circle. Da, Angela. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do a circle. You're going to be comfortable. All right, guys, I'm out of here. God bless. Thank you all for joining me, and love to you all. See you guys. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.